Hello everyone, how are you today? Makeup Delsa here. Hopefully you like my new lighting. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of it, if this is something that is better than what I used to use in my previous videos. Now today something weird happened and I have to let you guys know. Um, like always, here I am sitting wanting to do a tutorial on this look. I actually did it for 4th of July. As you can see, I've got a lot of bling going on, some blue, and I didn't want it to do so much of red because I am wearing a red shirt. So I just wanted to do a little bit of hint of red. So I just did that onto my lower lashes along with the some more blue over there. And for the first time, I tried Morphe lashes and these are just called Wispies. And I'm absolutely in love with them. They are longer than than the Ardell one that I am so used to having. This is the first time I'm using and I just applied them so I'm not sure how it will last me and all day long and how if it get, will get annoying or something like that. So I am not sure about that. So this is what the weird thing that happened today. I am sitting down doing my makeup. I first off did my one eye as always wanted to see what I would be doing today. Then as it comes to do me doing the other eye, I totally, um, I think I'm like halfway done with my eye look and realizing, oh, bummer, I didn't even turn on my camera. So I just, you, so I had to bite my tongue and couldn't go back of course because my eyes were almost done so anyhow I do apologize that you uh, that I was not able to record this on camera for you but if this is something that you are interested in knowing how to do it I will be glad to redo it tomorrow first thing and uh, upload it so you guys can wear this for 4th of July if this is something you're interested in, just let me know in the comment box below and I'll be glad to do that for you so I was like since I already have my makeup done and I could not get it on camera for you guys so might as well still let you see it live in action so I wanted to see if I could do maybe a different type of video or something I wasn't sure if there's something I wanted to do a review on so I was like why not I do my favorite so I was like why not I just go ahead and let you guys know of my all-time favorite products so this way you guys would get to know me a little bit more but what are the products that I am huge fan of so first thing first when it comes to um, makeup of course you want to moisturize your face so my all-time favorite is all day moisturizer with sunscreen SPF 15 by Olay cosmetics it's not so greasy it's not greasy it is not greasy at all this is one thing I like about this not greasy at all and what I like about it is it has SPF 15 seriously tell you the truth I've been using this moisturizer for about five years going on and I am so happy with it the other day I decided to go with a different moisturizer and believe it or not I felt like my skin was stretching like I could feel the stretch like my face was so dry I could just feel it and I did not like that so going back to this I don't think I'll be skipping this anymore the foundation I do want to let you know what foundations that I am a huge fan of lately I absolutely adore matte poreless fit me Maybelline foundation I absolutely love the fact that it gives you the matte finish if I want to make it a dewy for a change then I can just of course go with my uh, highlighters as you guys know that I'm love those. Yeah, but this is the foundation that I'm huge fan of it will last you all day long I have applied this and gone out and um, and it just absolutely amazing I feel like my skin still can breathe when I'm having this foundation on the other foundation that I want to talk to you about is the makeup forever HD foundation this is the high definition foundation and I only prefer to use it when I have a special occasion to I absolutely adore this you should definitely give it a try I think Sephora will even let you have some samples so you can try it before you buy it and see for yourself then the other thing I want to talk about is the contour palette everybody knows that I love Kat Von D shade and light palette uh, this is one palette that I can absolutely go crazy with and I mean crazy with but today as you can see my contour is on point and I'm absolutely loving every bit of it oh my gosh believe it or not guess who this is 
This is my new e.l.f. contour palette that I did review on for you guys. And I will tell you, I am so happy with it. I know I told you that this highlighter uh, this highlighter is very chalky feel. Uh, but I will update you on that. That I actually ended up liking this. Not so much, but I do like it now. Because it is very subtle down to earth. So what I do with this, after I'm done setting my... Um, concealer with this powder I like to use this highlighter to actually go under my eyes all the way to brighten that area and that is what I have used today and oh my gosh I've used all these uh, for contour I mix the two together for my um, cheekbone and my bridge of my nose area and absolutely gorgeous contour I don't think I don't know it's just something about my makeup today I'm so happy that I finally purchased this so this baby will always be repeated on my bucket list then the other thing I want to talk to you about is when I'm done with my highlighting I feel like my face is completely white so to bring that color to my skin I like to use NYX Day Matte Foundation Powder and the color I use is Warm Beige and I absolutely adore this because it is very fine it is not chalky at all it is so gorgeous and it is very pigmented I, oh my gosh like seriously absolutely gorgeous so what I do with this powder is I put it around my jawline and I also put it on my forehead area and this is basically just to bring the color to my face since it is all going to be all white and this is how I set my foundation here and here anyhow because the rest of the other powders will only be going wherever I would like to highlight my face. Then the other powder I want to talk to you about is I am absolutely in love with this powder. This is by Laura Mercier. It is in color translucent. This is one of those powder I was kind of like, should I try this? Should I not? Because I am, uh, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of this one and it, I cook my concealer with this. I used to set my concealer in place and I let this powder cook on top of it. And lately I've been trying Laura Mercier and I will tell you it has a huge difference. I mean, yes, I am still love with it, not like love with it, but I also love this one as well. This one actually will give you that expensive look. I don't know if you can tell the difference. It is so crazy, but I literally can when I can tell you that it looks expensive. like this is absolutely gorgeous on your skin it feels so buttery smooth very fine powder you're just going to love it I would definitely be giving this a try as well and like I say support I can give you up to three samples so please take one of this I also want to let you know of my favorite brand mascara it used to be the L'Oreal voluminous mascara before this but I am now a huge fan of better than sex mascara I am not sure if it is the formula itself or the brush but I am absolutely loving it sometimes when I don't feel like wearing falsies um, I just want to reach for only this and this mascara I like to reach for the other mascaras that I have when I'm wearing falsies because regardless how the mascaras will do my falsies will in the end make the look complete so this I really yeah, like to use by itself not when I'm doing my falsies because this gives me the falsies my favorite concealers ah, love it let's hide them circles so my favorite concealers are elf concealer in tan and this is one color I well not my target doesn't carry it um, so I always have to order like in bunch uh, by elf cosmetics uh, website and this absolutely gorgeous when it comes to hiding your uh, dark circles and blemishes you have to pick a concealer that is one to two tone darker than your skin and this will completely hide mm, let's take that back I don't know huh. uh, well for me it completely hides my dark circles and blemishes because it is two tones darker than my skin tone and it's like it works like an eraser for me uh, so when I apply this sometimes if I don't want to put on makeup and I just want to run around in the house you know so I what I do is I have to have my brows on and this would be another thing that I have to have because I want to go ahead and hide my dark circles around my nose and chin area which is where I get the darkness uh, around my lip area so this would be the guy to reach for so if I can just live off of these two these would be my a must-have makeup if 
anything were to happen. These are the two guys I would definitely have to have and I'll talk to you about this in just a little. Blushes. I absolutely in love with blushes when it comes to the peach color. I admire Milani uh, Baked Blush in Luminoso. I absolutely love this. This is what I have on today. I think it gives me that very cute, nice, flushed color to my skin that I, it just doesn't speak. Say blush. Uh, I just love the fact that it just makes me feel like I actually have a natural color to my skin instead of uh, the pink or other purple and all the other crazy colors. And the other one I like is the Sweetheart Blush by Too Faced in Peach Beach. This is also another color that I really, really appreciate. Highlighters. The highlighters that I am a huge fan of uh, to highlight my areas, bridge of my nose, under my eyes, a little bit on forehead, cupid bow, and then chin area is Maybelline Age Rewind in Neutralizer. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now today to highlight, I use another e.l.f. Uh, cosmetics product and this is in Brightening absolutely gorgeous the consistency is super thick so it gives you anywhere from medium to heavy coverage and I absolutely adore this so these are the two highlighters that are my go-to because of the finish that they give me and also the price is gorgeous Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette you guys I've only used it twice now and the first time I was super duper confused but now that I've tried it the second time, I know how to work this thing because it is very um, thicker than the other formulas I have so far used. So that's why it takes you maybe a try or two to get to know the product well and how to actually work your way around it. So this actually comes with six different colors. So you have uh, your highlighter color, I believe it's called banana or something, and then this one I use this one actually to hard uh to hide my dark circle and this one red you know to actually correct the skin pigmentation and then you have these are the contour colors this I contour my nose with and these two I contour mix together and then I contour my cheek and my jaw area um, I absolutely love this this is also my a must especially when I'm to go because I've got all everything in just one palette then the brows lately I have been believe it or not um, I have been reaching for my Rimmel uh, London London Rimmel London eyebrow pencil and the one I use is black brown this is what I have on you guys I absolutely love it that it's super fast I don't really have to carve out my brows when I'm using this because it's nice and precise instead of having a brush and a, a kind of like a gel formula I absolutely love this I think this is also a, a must in my collection I don't do half my brow I only do uh, outlining and then half my brow uh, outer corners and then I take my NYX um, eyeshadow in charcoal brown and then fill it in because that will give me that natural soft look for my eyebrows then my favorite eyeliner is by NYC as you guys know I don't think I can reach for anything else I, I, regardless how many eyeliners I have this is one eyeliner that I always reach for I just don't know why I have no idea and I always have to have backup for this and then the other gel eyeliner that I want to talk to you about is by NYX and this is in cobalt blue like do you see how pretty this guy is like oh, let's talk about this okay um, this is what I actually have in my waterline today I'm not sure if you can see it from that distance but this is what I have in my waterline a little bit outside on my lower lash as well and then I set that with the eyeshadow like always then the highlighters I am obsessed with highlighters as you guys know and lately there's a new guy in my collection so this guy is called Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press in Opal I absolutely love this I think this is so gorgeous and I'm gonna go ahead and show you do you see that this is so natural and I felt like this is almost to my skin color and that's another reason why I liked it because not only it gives me very uh, nice highlight color and also um, gives me that super glow I love that the other highlighter that I like is it has a little bit of color to it it is true by bare minerals it Sometimes when I want to have a little bit more color to my face other than just having a highlighter, this is the one I reach out for. 
as you can see I love that how pretty this is absolutely gorgeous and here you go you have your nice swatch right here this is absolutely gorgeous I tend to reach out for this this is actually an all over color you can put it all over your face but I like to only bling out certain places on my face the other highlighter that I want to talk to you about is my Global Glow and I absolutely adore this. Oh my gosh. I love the fact that it not only gives me the highlight, it also kind of bronzes bronze my cheeks up too. Then last but not least, I want to talk about my favorite bronzer today is Too Faced. This is Soulmates in Carrie and Bake. I would think it'd be called something else, but okay, carry and big. This is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see that I picked, of course, the one in peach because that's the color for me this because that's the color for me for this summer I guess. I'm not sure why, but I'm always reaching out for peachy colors. This will give me the flawless nice bronzy look with the blush on top of that and you know what packaging is definitely to die for and I cannot wait to share my favorite blush that also came out in this packaging they know how to sell their stuff well this is it for you guys hopefully you like my favorite collection and if you have any questions or suggestions for me please leave them down below in the comment box and do let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on this face right here or the eye look or the both so let me know and i will be glad to do that for you thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys later bye, -bye.